Hey folks, Cool18 here, and I want to thank everyone who came out for the live stream today. It was a hell of a lot of fun. Now, after I finished, I decided, like, I was, uh, I was tired. I couldn't talk very much more. I needed a break for sure, but I kind of still wanted to play some Dwarf Fortress. So I figured, what the hell, I'll keep playing Dwarf Fortress a little bit more. I mean, what could possibly go wrong in the next few minutes? <clears throat> so a uh, human trade caravan arrived to visit, to trade. It was great. As soon as, you know, they arrived... They started unloading some goods, and my dwarves started bringing goods up from uh, the uh, the trade depot. And that's when some of the human guards suddenly revealed themselves to be were-lizards. They immediately attacked the ambassador of my fortress, uh, Mountain Jerry. Um, of course, one of the subscribers over on twitch.tv slash quill18, Mountain Jerry, uh, was immediately attacked and set upon... Let me uh, bring up my little story log here of uh, the activities that happened in the uh, in the chat. Uh, so ignore anything, like there's a bunch of people, there's a massive influenza epidemic going on in my fortress, so there's a bunch of people like the sick and puking and stuff, so we'll try to deal with that next. But So the were-lizard hatchling, it's just a hatchling were-lizard, but this is one of the humans that turned into this, uh, tur attacked the ambassador, this is Mountain Jerry. And uh, in the right forearm, and severed, the severed part of it sails off in the arc. So first thing it does is it scratches you with its claws and literally severs your arm off, where it is sailing off in an arc. Then it bites you in the torso, bruising the muscle and bruising the right kidney's tissue right through your cloak. So I guess it bit you around the back. Then latched on firmly. Uh, after that, I don't know, while latching on, it's still charged, I guess it pounced at you with the entire body, scratched you in the right foot and severed that off as well. So now you have no arm, no foot, your kidney has been bruised, then collides, finishing its charge, collides with you, knocking you over and tumbling backwards. It then grabs you by the lower left back teeth with her right hand. So it grabs you in the mouth with her right hand, kicks you, in the right shin, shattering the bone. And then you bleed to death. This all happened almost instantaneously. Just, it was a human caravan, you were going out to meet it. Hey, how does it doing? Let's do some deals, all that. All of a sudden, oh my god, I'm being attacked! Oh my god, make it stop! Oh, it's terrible! And you died. I I'm really sorry, man. And I didn't stop there at that point. Like, the human guardsmen who were involved in this, they also jumped in here um, and to try to, like, defend. Uh, the rest of us, I guess, but, you know, a microsecond too late. You know, they were attacking with really good quality long swords, and all they're doing is just denting the scale. And then the were-lizard turns around and attacks the, the blade guard, the, the human guard, once again. And there's a big skerfuffle there. And look, it's like were-lizard hatching scratches the human imperial blade guard, tearing apart the muscle. Like, this is an a, insanely dangerous creature. Um, grabs the imperial blade guard by the middle finger... <laughs> Uh, releases it, um, tries to bite it in the head from the side, but is deflected by the, the sword, and it just, like, it goes on and on and on. Meanwhile, everyone's just vomiting and puking all over the place. Uh, look, scratches the Imperial Blade Guard in the head, bruising the muscle, bruising the skull through the helm. I mean, this person was wearing an actual full-on steel helmet, and this thing just whacks it in the head, bruises the muscle of the head and the skull uh, overall. And then this start, yeah, the human Imperial Blade Guard starts to look sick. Well, that's from battle damage. Not That is not from the flu anymore, I don't think. The, uh, the shaggy badger dogs are getting in on this as well, as much as possible. And then, here's what's crazy, is more and more of the swordsmen start turning into were-lizard mid-combat. Now, I don't know if they were also were-lizards, or if it was just that um, they were actually just infected with lycanthropy. So the fight continues now... The Were Lizard Hatchling is fighting the Were Lizard Swordman. Uh, and that just keeps going. They keep going, they keep fighting. The uh, human Imperial Pike Guards, so this is the Pike Guard, one of the other guards in there, springs away and slashes the, uh, hashling, the, the Hatchling, tearing the scale. Like, that's the best they're, they're doing right now. Tearing the scale, denting the scale. It's like so poor. Uh, and if we scroll all the way down to the bottom of this huge epic combat, um, at some point. Oh, I think, I thought it was over. Maybe I'm wrong. I thought it was over. The were-lizard pikeman scratches the recruit. The recruit is, um, who is this? This is, let's go to the health screen. And these are people with the flu. There we go. It's, um, oh, right, Terish 20 
the recruit, so I, I, I activated my army as quickly as possible and got them to go out there and fight. Not that they have very good weapons or armor at that matter. And unfortunately, yeah, the wear lizard pikemen just scratch the recruit in the right arm, severing another part off. So if we look at, at uh, Tarish over here, he's got moderate blood loss and ability to grasp is somewhat impaired. Yeah, because you're missing your right arm. And this is not the right forearm. Your entire right arm has been severed off, flung off. No evaluated wounds yet. Yeah, we're going to have to send you to the hospital to get evaluated. You might die from blood loss still. You might die from infection. Uh, and even if you don't die, you, uh, you're you missing an arm. So that sucks. Sorry about that. So I guess the combat is still going on. I didn't actually realize that. <clears throat> We've got Guardman. Guardman, Guardman. Traitors. And it seems okay... But I actually, I'm wondering if Ebdi Uthrosis is actually the one who keeps shape-shifting as well. It's entirely possible. We have killed one wizard, were lizard hatchling. And yeah, Mountain of Jerry has died. So I guess I guess we'll keep going and see. The problem right now is that the, uh, the combat log is just filled with spam about people being sick. So it's actually hard to filter out. Oh, they've got the flu too. Everyone's got the flu. Um, exactly what's happening. Okay, well, we're going to have a discussion with the Merchants Guild here. Stands up. I think I think the real combat is over. I mean, here's the point. My magic iron hammers are also sick with the flu. That, that's how bad this flu is. It's clearly magical in nature. And, okay, it looks like the combat is over. Hopefully, people will get treatment. We've got the hospital ward here. There's someone in there. Is that Terish? No, this is someone new. Someone who just arrived. Oh, they're just sleeping. I think they're just sleeping. Fever, nauseous, thirsty. Yeah, there's someone else with the flu is all is all that is there. But uh, hopefully we can get things looked at. And so I'm I'm sorry that you guys left your your namesakes in my care, and someone dies and someone loses an arm. There wasn't anything I could do about it. I mean, they're just like everyone's coming out to trade, like the ambassador especially, like going up to shake hands. Hey, how you doing, man? Oh God, stop eating me. Dwarf Fortress, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, thanks to everyone who came out the live stream. If you missed live stream, I will be trying to upload some of the videos to YouTube. Some are going to work, some are going to work less well. Uh, we'll see what we can do, but you know, if you want to make sure to catch the action, come by the live streams. They're super fun. See you next time. Bye bye.